Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny Delilo. We're here at the South Park Center. I'm delighted to be joined with Leon and Cynthia with their movie Still Rolling. Let's take a look at the clip. Thank you for being here and thank you for making this film. I'm glad somebody made a film about this. I'm so happy it was you two. Um, again, you know, really great to have you part of our new filmmakers family. But for those that haven't seen Still Rolling, tell us a brief synopsis. Um, okay, so it's, um, it's a story of a filmmaker, like a rookie script supervisor. Um, but it might seem a bit confusing to some people because in the, in the um, film, she like runs the stage, she does the camera log, she needs to call actors, she, she really functions like everything, like a super swing assistant. Um, but that's what happens to you if you're a supervisor, a script supervisor in some part of Asia. Mm -hmm. um, we are learning now, like, I think some people from Taiwan, they realize, oh, script you don't do this in Hollywood, script you <laughs> don't do that in Hollywood, let's change it. But yeah, in my early career, that, that was really tough. Like, you're like assistant to every department and they get to blame you on all kind of mistakes. Oh, um, I see. Yeah, so you have to run a slave, hide behind the assistant, but also take care of continuity. Yeah. So a lot of things that didn't make sense, but that's how we, you know, survived all the way. And so it's a, it's a story about this script supervisor she, I, I kind of do the story opposite from my, mm -hmm. from my experience. It's how I imagine if I go back what to, it's to Taiwan and if I become the script supervisor again, how that would be like. Yeah. And um, so it's based upon like experiences that you've you've had as well. It's like a mix of my yeah. experience and my imagine of my yeah. of the future yeah. if I go back. And a lot of thing I learned here would conflict. To, yeah. you know, how other people do things. And also people just naturally are not very friendly to yeah. people who, you know, who got, who took training from American film system. Yeah. They, they think you just think yourself are better than yeah. everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of comparison and, and sort of competition. Yeah. You told um, the story so well though, honestly, because it really did feel very, very, very real. Um, Cynthia, how did you get involved in this project? And, and well done, you did a great job. Thank you. So actually, this was for our second year film, and that we just clear up together because um, we worked before, mm -hmm. and I just love to work with her because mm -hmm. I feel like we're always on the same page. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's why I told her, like, can I be your editor? So I just work on this film. And also, it's very funny because I also, uh, I did a lot of scripty supervisor job before. Oh, he did too, so you knew. Yes, but I'm very glad that I, nobody was mean to me mm -hmm. like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so you, it's, a, it's a second year film of Chapman University mm -hmm. Film Grad School. Yeah. That's, that's, that's how we met. It, uh, the whole team was from Chapman. And we love Chapman, so well done. <laughs> now, the, the w just very much like a very busy set, there was a lot of people oh, yes. in your film. And I was just like thinking, how, I know it's, there's a lot of, how do you navigate a film set on a film set, like I was just like, I was just, yeah, yeah, was that how was that experience? Like, was it kind of surreal and strange? Like, uh, what was that, that like? That was really tough. Yeah. Because um, it's still a student set. Yeah. So we don't have much resource. We cannot double all our equipment just yeah. to be prop. Um, so a lot of things, like people are swinging between uh, in front and behind the camera, and same as, yeah, same as like monitor you know uh -huh, you uh -huh. need to spare one monitor to be in the in the frame and some workers in on the screen they're they're really really key grip they're really oh really good i wondered that yeah yeah so um we had to plan that but our uh, first ad did a great job Chapa. 
Yi Chang. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so yeah, she did a great job just arranging all the background and design that for me. So just take take that off my shoulder. Mm -hmm. So I really just need to focus on taking care of um, ten ten speaking roles because that was a lot for <laughs> me. Yeah, I was gonna say it's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, and then so we got like more. Maybe we got a bigger crew than we actually needed, mm -hmm. but just in case we need them to walk mm -hmm. in the in the frame, and that that really happened. Mm -hmm. So I think we have a wide shot in the like the established shot mm -hmm. of the stage. That's crazy. That's like fifty people walking. <laughs> oh my! Yeah, I know. I was like, a l I was. <laughs> you, you definitely created the atmosphere, you know, which is you did a really really good job. Um, and and Cynthia, for you from your perspective, like you know, editing this is I'm sure is kind of quite fun, but also quite different kind of project for you. What were some of the kind of challenges you had or, or things that you uncovered as you made it? Um, I think the biggest challenge is, because um, this is kind of documentary style. Yes. So a lot of, uh, we just, we don't have enough coverage, mm -hmm. coverage for a lot of shots. Uh, and also the camera movement is kind of different every single take. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes I had to even reverse the speed or like reverse the shot, yep. fix the shot a little bit to make it like um, make sense. Oh. So and uh, I really enjoyed cutting it because I had a lot of freedom to try different things. Mm -hmm. uh, especially like during the ending, we had to like uh, cross cutting the on set scene mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with the um, karaoke red, scene. Red party. Red yes, party. the red party. Yeah. So I got to uh, had a lot of fun to try to match the shots. Sometimes I resize it a little bit to make it like um, the um, transition more fluent. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think uh, because it's documentary style, so I can like do a lot of crazy stuff mm -hmm. and also tr create uh, like a cha chaotic. Yeah. A lot of chaotic. Yeah. And yeah. because it's like a film about film set, mm -hmm. I didn't need to worry about any like booming. booming no? Yes, of course. <laughs> and camera, I just I just use the shot. Well, actually, we'll oh. like call the boom to get in a little bit yeah. more. That's so yeah. funny. Not That's just the <laughs> microphone, the boom. The whole, I want the whole boom. So we got a lot of good, uh, good uh. audio because the mixer, the sound recorder can just uh, get into the shots as, as close oh. as they want. Yeah. So mistakes are good. I love yeah. it. Yeah, that's great. I love it. Yeah. Um, no, well done. I mean, I mean, that's some good tips as well from editing because I'm sure it was, a, you know, being documentary style, but being a, you know, narrative film was, was really, yeah. really interesting. I think that was so challenging for, so challenging for her because yeah. we did a lot of wonder. Uh -huh. Again, yeah. we, we had to do it in, you know, this amount of days. I think that was three days. Yes. Three yeah. days. Oh, wow. all, the, all the score rules. So yeah. we have to do it in three days, and we, we're super ambitious. So it's like one take, yes. uh, one shot, <laughs> one wonder of every scene. And at the end, just I, I didn't, I didn't know how to cut it myself. <laughs> yeah, but but Cynthia is a master of creative solution. So. Well, as as you know, as a director managing, you're quite a large ensemble, and then obviously there was a lot of speaking parts as well. Like, how do you work? Because, I mean, let's face it, I felt so sorry for your, for your wonderful protagonist. Like, I just was like, the poor girl going through so much in this set and, and, the, and the rap party, just the, the weird, icky things that happen at rap parties. is like, oh, you know, poor thing, she went through so much. What's your process as a director when you're working with your actors? Do you kind of let them play? Do you kind of written rehearse? Like, what's, what's your kind of process? Yeah, so um, it was pretty intimidating intimidating for me at the beginning because uh, I'm you know I'm a young new director and I had to handle 10 of them some of them are quite experienced um, so there are you know it, there's a variety uh, the oldest one is like 60 I think so it's a there's a range from uh, 20 to 60 and at the beginning I was so afraid that they won't trust me mm -hmm. but then I sort of use casting and just um, rehearsal as the chance to prove myself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we did a, a oh, the casting process was so long. And then we did this callback, which was not really callback. Mm -hmm. It's really all the people I want, I call them back to rehearsal, to do the rehearsal. Oh, really? But oh, I like that. Cause, because I, I, I don't want to disrespect them for you know calling them back too many times to do rehearsal and some of them they don't want to rehearse for student films so i just use call back and put them together and have them do improv we play a lot of games and they get along really well mm -hmm. and i think 
that was a good experience for them too. So then they grow to trust me. Yeah. And then all the rehearsal later was went very smoothly. Yeah. Well, I think they're lucky to work with you. You got, you know, oh my goodness, honestly. Um, so now that you made the project and looking back on it, um, was it, is there anything you kind of learned from this particular film, like both of you from your perspectives, maybe something that was kind of different that you've experienced during this? I think just yesterday mm -hmm. on, on New Filmmaker, yeah. I watch it again, I feel like a lot of things I could have handled differently. <laughs> 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 just the pacing, the pacing yeah. of acting, because um, mm -hmm. it's now 19 minutes. I do feel like there's still a little bit things can be can be tight enough. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but you know, at the time that was like 2019. Yeah. I think at the time, you know, I I didn't have the skill <laughs> enough yeah. to do that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think that's that's the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. The rest. I mean, I I hope we could have we can have do it in a bigger studio or something, but that's not really something I. Have no, you did a great job it. though, you know, and <laughs> it was really good. That was actually a tiny studio. Yeah. We built. We had to build this like ancient Chinese costume drama set. Oh, I love it. it. Yeah, that was a great set, by the way. Really yeah. good production as well. Uh, how about the How about you, Cynthia, from a, from a respe your perspective? Um, I feel like um, the biggest thing I learned from this is. You you can never complain. You don't get enough footage because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you can always make something out of it. Because mm -hmm. um, like editing is is a very creative process, so you can always try different way to make it work. Mm -hmm. no, so definitely. yeah, after this film, I actually I've been working on a lot of documentaries. Oh really? So I just really enjoying this process to make something. Uh, that seems like impossible, but actually possible. Yeah, yeah. no, fantastic. Um, now, obviously, the wonderful Chapman, we've had a lot of amazing Chapman alum now become new filmmakers alum, which is great. Um, when you're making like a project as part of part of your school, and is it do they do they support you? Is it something you've got to self fund? Do you have to do some of the kind of crowds um, funding? How does that work? Um, actually, I'm I'm really glad that I went to Chapman. Um, you know, when I apply, the first First choice is always AFI or USC. <laughs> and Chapman's like, oh, okay, I got in a good Chapman's go. amazing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but actually, um, although half of my grad school happened online, um, but I do think Chapman is very friendly to directors. Mm -hmm. um, just because our system is designed to admit students evenly, we have 17 directors, 17 cinematographers, 17 editors. And even sound, um, production designer, producers, uh, screenwriter. So the resource is rather even. And not for this film, but uh, for my thesis, like each film gets 15,000. Mm. Yeah, although that's, you know, the tuition mm. we pay mm -hmm. <laughs> throughout <laughs> the yes, season. Yes, 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 yes. But still, um, and we got equipment, there are, uh, there are stages at school. So I do think it's resourceful. Yeah. And it's not. Not as much during pandemic because, you know, um, school had to spend a lot of money on other things. But at least that when we made this film, we made this film right before pandemic hit. Yeah. Which, whew. Yeah. Yeah. No way I can put 50 people. No, on set not at all. Now. Not at all. Yeah. Yeah. So I think at the time we got a lot of support from, from school. We got to use the, the stage and build everything. If we have a scene shop that you can. We really built everything, the flat, all it's those. It's incredible. Yeah, w we can we cut those all those wood, we do all the painting in school. We just have a big like warehouse design to do that. That's and amazing. Yeah, prop house. I do think Chapman is, is a really good school for I don't know for other other um, uh, emphasis like discipline, but for director. I think, mm. yeah, I'm, I'm really glad. And the, and the, and the um, ancient Chinese costumes were so good as well. Like, how, how did you go about, did you have a costume designer working <laughs> with you on that? How was that? Um, we really just order it online. Oh, okay, there you go, um, see? So, you the know, online costume designer, I love it, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then we did a, a little bit like accessories, mm -hmm. um, just a little bit of redesign. Mm. But yeah, that was pretty much oh, fantastic. the online costume. Okay. There are actually, surprisingly, a lot of options ancient Chinese costume <laughs> online. For oh, there some you reason. go. <laughs> That's great. Um, what is next for you together or individually? Um, okay, for me, uh, I have another short film that's going to screen in Dentures Films in June. Oh, yeah. Um, so that's my thesis. That's fantastic. And yeah, so, so that's the 
the most current thing, and I'm also cr uh, developing a feature film. It's called Watermelon Killer. Ooh. Uh, and it's based, it's inspired by this Mother's Day or May exercise in Taiwan that we will have all the students carry a watermelon for one week so they can experience how it feels to be a mother. You know, oh, wow. Like a preg pregnant woman. Uh, so it's, it's a story in this kind of surreal world setup, mm -hmm. but this li little girl is usually an overachiever. She's like the favorite girl of all the teachers. <laughs> um, but until she had to do this ex uh, exercise, mm -hmm. but this watermelon just in the way of everything else. Ugh. And that drives her crazy. And then she realized she never wants to be a mother. Well, we never really talk about this motherhood in the whole story. Um, but then she realized she never want to be part of it. And yeah, and, and then that creates a whole chaos and become a revolution of this little girl to the school. I'm ready to see this. I'm ready. I'm already <laughs> invested. Thank you. Yeah, we'll have we'll have watermelon just given out in the in uh, the theater so, so when many we see it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I, I think the fun part is the whole film. They only talk about watermelon. We I never love talk it. about baby or pro life. <laughs> No, it's just <laughs> all about watermelon. Brilliant. It's just it's a genius, genius idea. Um, uh, for you, Cynthia, what's, what, what's next for you? Uh, as I mentioned before, now I'm actually working on a lot of documentaries. Yeah. And I have my like side project, so I've been editing uh, some short documentaries, but I also work in a production company who make documentary feature. Oh, fantastic. I'm a, like a season editor, so yeah. I got a lot of time to learn from uh, editors. Oh, so wow. I'm also like, I, I'm just like, um, <coughs> sorry, I'm just like keeping, uh, I'm, I'm keeping learning from them and also I'm waiting for her to Yes, story. keep working <laughs> together, you two. Yes. Um, I love that. And listen, finally, in one sentence or, or less, from an edit pers editor perspective and as a director, a piece of advice you give to any budding editors out there, any budding directors. Cynthia, have you got any advice from, your, from what you do that you could share out there for editors? Always try to fight for a chance to edit something by yourself. Mm. And then you can show it to your director or other people and get their opinions. So my advice for, uh, it's also, it's kind of just for working relationship between editors and directors. We can always fight for a chance to do that and mm -hmm. then respect their choices. I love that. We don't hear that often enough, but that's great. Thank I you. I just want to add on that. Yes. Every time, like, Cynthia show you a rough cut, that's, like, the finest cut ever. <laughs> I'm like, this is rough cut. I don't want to change anything. Like, <laughs> how am I supposed to do my work here? <laughs> yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. Uh, well, what about what about it for you, Fionn? Um, okay, I think this is what I learned from Chapman. So before before Chapman, I also directed a few a few short films, and I used to think I'm this great. I was a great director until I get into Chapman and learn so much more. <laughs> um, so I think my my advice or my my biggest note, even for myself, is that always always have a brain or a part of your mind taking care of your actors. Like, because directors have so many things yes. to take care on set. Sometimes we forget that actors are waiting for our yeah. notes or even just a thumb, thumbs yeah. up. Um, so I feel like on set, I always have two parallel world or my timeline. Mm -hmm. One is feeling in my body and another one is the perspective of, act of actors. What yeah. are they doing? <laughs> what are they feeling? Yeah. Mm, are they waiting for me? Are they, uh, yeah. So to make sure they're not, you know, left alone on set, mm. not not knowing what's going on. Um, but yeah, I I didn't I didn't used to do that. Mm -hmm. But I I learn. I'm still learning it. Um, but yeah, so on set. That's always, great. That's great advice. Actors. That's great advice. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you for still rolling. <laughs> We're gonna stop rolling. <laughs> um, but no, thank you both very, very much. Um, we really appreciate you being part of the new filmmakers family, and, and thank you for bringing this film. And please keep bringing us more projects, okay? Oh. All right, thank you very sure. much. Thanks, Such yeah. a great story.